Seven months ago, I released a desk setup video and the theme of that video was to have everything all white. It looks incredible and all, but it is time to upgrade. Kicking things off, I have the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro. This is an all mesh office chair and it is absolutely comfortable for long periods of seating. And I gotta tell you, coming from a gaming chair, you definitely notice the difference right away. But when I'm working, I like to sit on this chair and I've been using it since 2020. And yeah, you can see the wear and tear, but it doesn't break a sweat for long periods of use. I still have the autonomous L-shaped smart desk. It's a sit-stand desk, which is gonna allow you to either stand up while working or you can sit down. The choice is completely yours, but majority of the time I'm always sitting. I don't like a description with a discount code, but instead of the white, I decided to wrap up the top with a walnut wrap that I got off of Amazon and it matches perfectly with the Grove made desk shelf which this is gonna allow you to hold up your monitor. But in this case, I have a Vivo monitor mount to give the illusion that the monitor is floating. But this shelf is gonna allow you to store your belongings. For example, you have this drawer to store some paper clips, pens, and then you have a section where it's open. In this case, I have my Amazon Echo Show to always keep an eye on the time, the weather, and the date. And right next to that, I have my Anchor Mag Go magnetic stand. Technically, this is a charger, but for the most part, I use it to hold up the iPhone. And this dial here is the BenQ screen bar. I'm sure you've seen this a thousand and one times already, but essentially it's gonna illuminate your workspace. Instead of using one of those bulky lamps, this is something that you'll get for a more minimalistic setup. In terms of my peripherals, I'm using the Logitech MX Master 3 along with the MX Keys mechanical, almost said master again and I'm using the Apple Magic Trackpad 2 just for gestures on Mac OS to use. And the desk mat is from GroveMade. My headphones of choice on the Mac side has to be the AirPods Max. I'm seeing everybody with these now, but I, these are the best AirPods, period. And what's holding it up is the Banks headphone stand. It actually doubles as a wireless charger, so you could charge your iPhone or even your AirPods Pro for that matter. Now, in terms of the Mac, I am using the MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Max. Over a year later, it still have yet to slow down for my workflow. What's holding up the MacBook is this laptop stand that I got off of Amazon and it exceeded my expectation. You can adjust the height and you have this steel finish, which I appreciate. Now to expand my productivity space even further, I can connected it to the LG 5K ultra wide display. This is gonna allow me to have more horizontal space. So this is gonna be perfect for editing videos. It looks more futuristic opposed to going with a dual screen setup. I connect it via Thunderbolt thanks to the Cal Digit. This is gonna allow me to connect even more ports to the Mac with a single Thunderbolt cable. So many plugs on the back of the Cal Digit. So this makes things a little bit more cleaner just having one connection to the MacBook, keeping things nice and tiny. And next to the monitor, I'm using the M1 iPad Pro 12.9 inch. This is an excellent companion for the MacBook for signing documents with the Apple Pencil. Editing photos is absolutely a dream to edit on an iPad. All of my Instagram photos are edited on an iPad. What's holding it up is the Infinity Pro stand from Banks. And this is one of the more better stands that you can get. It attaches magnetically, no strings attached, no cases. It has 360 degree rotation. Also, you can adjust the angle to your liking. And since this is a walnut setup, I wanted to add in my favorite plant, the money tree. This is gonna just give me that good luck. And it just fits perfectly. And I had to get another one on the other side just to create some unity. Instead of going with the white 3D wall panels, I decided to switch them out to the black ones. And I think this looks better than the white. And of course, with the Nana Leaf, I had to go with the matte black triangles. This looks beautiful, especially when they off. This is something else that looks better in black opposed to the white one. Just looks more seamless. And with the Nanoleaf lines, Nanoleaf made it easy to upgrade to the black by purchasing the skins. So I just convert my white Nanoleafs 
and just put on the skin so that the lines are separated from the triangles so they're on separate walls and of course i have my 100,000 subscriber youtube play button i appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time out to watch my videos an updated room tour video is in the works right behind the ipad i have a light star projector it kind of gives the room a more galactic look especially when the room is dark you get the full effect going on and as a desk setup tradition you gotta have rgb light strips around the desk overall just completing the light and scenery of this desk setup lighting makes a huge difference with any kind of desk setup And on the corner, I have my Xbox Series X and really and truly, I just have it behind here just to hide the Verizon Files router. Let's switch over to the other side, starting off with my custom build gaming PC. This is the Ryzen 9 5900X with the RTX 3090. This has 32 gigabytes of RAM and I finally installed Windows 11 successfully. For the first time ever, I'm experiencing ultra wide on Windows and underneath that I have my Elgato Stream Deck and this is going to allow you to have quick actions. You have a full control center right at your fingertips. Have a monitor mount to give the illusion that the monitor is floating and this side in particular, it gives a more floaty feel just because there's no desk shelf. Right behind it, I have a camera mount for connecting a mirrorless camera or a DSLR to use as a webcam. This is completely overkill, but that's not a bad thing at all. It shows that you have a professional setup and you're about your business and pair that up with the Shurk SM7B microphone. You actually been hearing how this microphone sounds like throughout this entire video. So let me know down in the comments down below. How does it sound? I know it sounds good, but how good does it sound? Now what's powering it up is the Scarlett. This is pretty traditional. This is going to allow you to adjust the gain power everything up and I have a cloud lifter too underneath the desk. In terms of my peripherals, I'm using the Mel Geek Mojo 68 mechanical keyboard. It's one of the most unique keyboard designs I've ever seen. It has a all plastic see-through design. And with the mouse, this is the Logitech G Pro X Super Light. This is one of the best gaming mice that you can get. It's super light. The battery lasts a long time. And the desk mat is from Delta Hub. This is a wool felt material. One of the critical aspects to a desk setup has to be cable management. And I did not disappoint here from cable trays to cable tubes to even a cable spine. If you underneath the desk, you can clearly see the cables, but standing position, you're not gonna see no cables on the floor at all. But all in all, I think I did a fantastic job with this desk setup. I try to go overboard by having two studio displays and ultra wide, but it was just getting too cramped and too crowded. So I wanted to keep things simple, but advanced at the same time. And every single product that I mentioned will be linked down below. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a simple day. Let me know down in the comments down below what do you guys think.